A breast cancer survivor and infertility warrior turned into a thriver. Anna Krollman was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was just 27 years old. She joins us now to tell us how her diagnosis changed her life in ways she never thought possible. So thank you for joining us this morning, Anna. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to talk with you again yeah. after so many years. I know, it's crazy. So can you tell us a little bit about your story? It's a pretty amazing one. Absolutely. So out of the blue, I was 27 years old, actually trying to get pregnant, start a family. I was a newlywed and found a lump on my breast while I was taking a shower. And at that age, in your 20s, the last thing you're thinking about is health concerns. You think you're invincible and pretty quickly was diagnosed with triple positive breast cancer, which is very aggressive. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any genetic mutations or family history that I was aware of, of young women in my family. Um, and so I ended up going into a pretty aggressive treatment of a double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and five plus years of hormone blocking therapy as well that put me in a state of medical menopause. So talk about a big change in your life of going from having fun, being out on vacations in your 20s, feeling like a brand new newlywed, and next thing you know, you're in cancer treatment. So it's now been seven years. I'm so grateful to be cancer free, but it absolutely did change my life. And I have dedicated you know, my work to advocating for other cancer survivors, for education, for advocacy, and for research. And you have done so much. So soon after your diagnosis, you started your blog, My Cancer Chic. What made you want to start that? So at the time, being in your 20s, you turn to social media, you turn to the internet for advice and support. And I went to Google and I searched young women with breast cancer. I searched for hair loss. I searched for beauty, how to draw on my eyebrows. And I couldn't find anything. There's this huge gap in terms of content in that time in 2015 of women going through cancer or going through trauma at a young age. And so I figured if I was going through that gap, needing something more, needing community resources, um, support that other people would too. So I started my blog then, and it's now been seven years as well of creating resources for women that are going through cancer. And I get the honor of getting to know other women as and men as they go through their own breast cancer journey and providing them some of the insight that I now have as a survivor and thriver now on the other side of my own journey. And you also have a very popular Instagram page. How does it feel when other women reach out to you who are in similar situations? You've said people from around the world reach out to you. Absolutely. I mean, Africa, Brazil, Canada, Paraguay, I mean, everywhere in the world, you know, people will slide into your DMs on Instagram or send me emails. and. I think it still doesn't really hit home that I have so many followers because when I started out, my whole goal was just to touch one person. I said, if I touch one person that has breast cancer and is going through this alone, that will be success. And so even now, every time I get those stories from women, it's the most fulfilling and rewarding thing of my life to be able to be that person for someone because when I was going through it, I didn't have anyone and I felt so alone, so traumatized, so isolated. So to be able to be that first point of contact for someone and show them that there is a life beyond cancer, there is a life beyond this trauma that you're in, it's just such an honor to me. So it makes me tear up every time I get those first messages, interactions from people. And it's so amazing. You do so much for so many people. Thank you for taking time and joining us today to tell us about your story. And if you would like to connect with Anna, you make sure you visit our website, dcnewsnow.com.